So we just got a possible lead on some video games, my guys. This post popped up on Market. And if you look at the bottom of this flyer right here, it says we got video games. And free coffee. Now this garage sale doesn't start till tomorrow, but I went ahead and messaged him and said, hey, mind if I swing by and check out your video games early by chance? And my guy said, come on through. Come on in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm moving back to Florida. Okay, so you're selling everything. Yeah, dude. Nothing's really off limits, but everything else, yeah, dude, um, we're good to go. I have other Pokemon games. Okay. Um, if you want, I have gold and something else. 64, it's gonna be uh, 30 bucks. The Xbox, 10 bucks. Games are a dollar. Game Boy, um, 30 bucks um, with all the games. Okay, thank you again. I appreciate you letting me stop by early. All right, dude. All right, that's it. Thank you. I am, I'm speechless. Did I just get a great Nintendo 64 for 30 bucks? Cause if I didn't, then pinch me now. Cause I must be dreaming. I don't even know what to say besides Bingo Bongo. 80 bucks, we just scored big. Very excited to break this. Yeah? Okay. Anyways, I hop back up on Facebook Marketplace because I'm on a roll. I find another garage sale post and I start scanning through the photos and something catches my eye. Super Nintendo. I start getting nervous. Someone's obviously gonna hop up into this garage sale asking for video games and steal my deal. So I shoot my shot. Hey, can you hold on to the Super Nintendo for me? I'm on my way now. And you know what this beautiful soul does? She says, "Radio, it's yours. <laughs> Here for the Super Nintendo. This one's an original. Really cool to see. Yeah. Okay, thank you again Boy. for holding on to this for me. Good luck today. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. So right off the bat, a Super Nintendo for 30 bucks is bonkers. And I went into this deal knowing that there was four games included, but I didn't know which ones exactly. We got F-Zero, John Madden Football, RIP, Super Street Fighter 2, and finally the surprise of the lot, Street Fighter Alpha 2. I might be dumber than a doornail, but I'm pretty sure this game still pushes 50 cash. Damn. So this game alone gives us a solid little double up on our initial investment. Not just one OEM controller, but two. And finally the system is... Ew! Ew. Super Nintendo Junior in absolutely mint condition. This is a hundred dollar bill if I don't decide to keep it myself. First time this channel has seen a Junior in person. Capping off a beautiful bodacious bundle. Now this lot right here was only the second dip of my dunk boots. But that first one I tell you had me smiling from coast to coast. <laughs> Game Boy Nintendo 64 and Xbox. Now the Xbox itself is looking a little ruddy. Missing both the top and the bottom grill, but it's still salvageable because we got the 250 GB hard drive. It's good to have one of these extra on hand at all times. A few games, nothing special in here. Unfortunately, it's NCAA Football 2. Uh -oh. If we were sitting at NCAA Football 14, we'd be a little happier yeah, today. Game Boy Pocket, beautiful metallic blue. This one is in excellent condition. Slightly scratched up, but I know these metallic blue ones toss a few dollars up the chain and gang. Give it up for Pac-Man in the house. And two solid Pokemon games including Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. Best to know that these bad boys are authentic. Damn, boy. Sitting with that indented number on both cartridges and that nice glossy shell to know that she's coming home with you tonight. Excellent. Now I went into this deal blind so when I first walked into this apartment my eyeballs shot open with gusto at this tasty delicious treat. Great fantastic. Nintendo 64. Second time I found this beauty in the wild, but equally as happy to see it all. Expansion pack was missing, but we got the jumper pack installed. Mario Kart strapped up and ready to go for a night of fun. Two controllers for me to lay my hands upon. Now, unfortunately, they're not OEM. These two right here are aftermarket, but at least one is matching the console. $80 for this healthy entree combined with that $30 Super Nintendo appetizer gives you a two course meal that'll gone done make ya drool. Cody with the cake games, baby. What's up? Fifth anniversary Mario edition DX. 
No way. It doesn't matter because I'm on my way there now. Hold on, let me call you back. I'm cruising Facebook Marketplace and I see this post pops up. It's a girl and she's trying to sell some stuff. Now when I see posts like this, I ask one question. Y'all got any video? God, what are you doing in my car? I'm sorry. No, you can't. Just, just go, leave. Sorry. Y'all got any video games? She answers back with one photo. Immediately I'm wanting to know how much she's asking. She says 40 bucks for the whole bit. Okay. But I'm also selling stuff at my dad's house. So. so your dad's house is the place to go? Yeah, if you want like the Nintendo 64 stuff, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is, it's just, I don't even know what it is. I just found it. Yeah, 40 bucks is a great deal if still. You want to look at it still? <laughs> Okay, yeah, text me your dad. Hey, thank you again. Of course, have a good night. Thank you. Turns out that wasn't the end of it. There's more to go. The girl says her dad's the main one having the garage sale. And he's the one that actually has the real stuff. We're talking Nintendo 64, Wii, PlayStation. I'm excited to see where this adventure takes us. Let's get going. So anything that you see uh, looking around, we're thinking about selling the house. I got to get yep. it down, and we always buy a ton of stuff like this, and then get sick of it and sell it all and start over. So yeah, I feel you. For us, that right there costs thirty-four hundred dollars. I was gonna sell it for nine. You'll never, wow. you'll ever, never see it for nine ever. That duck right there costs over three grand. Uh, here, here's some information you need to remember the rest of your life. Anything carved, if it's a duck, buy it. But they're always worth money, always, forever. Butterflies nowadays, especially. Uh, if they're big, uh, they're expensive. Butterfly people are insane. I'm in a hurry is why I'm all hyped up because I just drink a bread bowl and some other caffeine. Okay. And then if you see anything in here, like these are real, because I won't buy a nice knife unless it's jeweled. And then I just got through building that. Now I'm thinking about selling it. Myself, I got $1,000 into it. The wow. fish alone are $500 worth of fish in there. There's a really big one back there. Here's your games. Anything Mario is going to have to be more. And how much are you asking for the N64? I don't know. Are you selling the GameCube at all? PlayStation? Yeah, I'll sell it all. We're not using it enough. Even if I don't sell the house and move, I'll, I can sell it. What would you take for two? GameCube and games, and then 10 of the N64 games. Games. Just pick out the 10 games. I'll let you have uh, through the Wii and the PlayStation bundle. Close to $100. Take it easy. I appreciate you coming out. Okay, cool. Breaking news, father-daughter duo dish out some big boy hauls. Yeah. Now the daughter pickup was pretty darn good. Especially since we paid only 40 bucks for it and I couldn't be happier. So is it worth 40 bucks? Well, you tell me. Right off the bat, we have a Super Mario All-Stars cartridge, which alone pushes around 20 bucks. A couple PS1 games. Nothing too special in this lot right here, even though Frogger is a solid game, but we got Disruptor. Best first person shooter according to Ultra Game Player Award. Guys, this game was sitting at the bottom of the barrel and it pushes $50 cash. Also have Contra, which is a really solid game to see in the lot. Couple DS games and I know what you're staring at. You're staring at Pokemon Black. Brothers, this just happened to me in the last video where I got Pokemon Black in a lot at a garage sale and I opened the case and it was empty just like this one right here. But just like Black too, that even with just the manual and no game included, this baby is still worth 50 Bucks. Got a couple unique PlayStation controllers, a black one, and then an Ashyware. A ton of PlayStation 2 games with a few Xbox games included. Halo 2, Rise of Kasai, Indigo Prophecy, The Mark of Cry, Grant that Dotto's in there. I haven't played this game in a while, but I know it's worth it when you give it a try. The Incredible Hulk for PlayStation 2. At this point in time, I believe this baby pushes 30 cash. Black Label Simpsons Road Rage, fully complete in excellent condition. Stocked up with all the cheat codes, you know that's a bonus. And Smackdown Raw 2010. Now this one honestly caught me off guard and sent me flying back to the Mushroom Kingdom. A Super Mario Bros. 25th Anniversary DSi XL. It's in a little rough condition, but since I only paid 40 bucks for this whole lot, y'all can't complain. Now I personally think these things are banging. So it always surprises me when I look up the value. They're only worth around 75 bucks. Nevertheless, a really sick find. Then she pulls out this in the lot. What's in the case? It's a black DS Lite. Stock 
brushed up with the Game Boy cartridge and the stylus. One game included in this one shocked me. Pokemon Ranger! Not a bad $20 bill at all. Now the story gets juicier. I'm talking to the daughter and she starts telling me her dad's got this and that. This and that being Nintendo 64, Nintendo Wii, you, you name, name it. it. Hits me with the address about a 30 minute drive and it was definitely yeah. worth it. Now Guy was definitely a hard bargainer. I couldn't get everything unfortunately. Like the Nintendo 64 which I do regret because it did have that expansion pack. We ended up at five dollars each for the Nintendo 64 games and I went in blind trying to go with the best one. And I don't think we did too bad. We got Command and Conquer, Rayman 2, The Great Escape, Body Harvest, Toy Story 2, WCW NWO Revenge, Diddy Kong Racing, a staple, Nuclear Strike 64, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Win Back Covert Operations, Spider-Man, always a solid find, a Marvel Classic, and lastly, Mega Man 64, Capcom Banger, baby. Always be on the lookout for Mega Man games, Capcom games. This one actually surprised me at the N64 value. Sits pretty high. I'm actually pretty excited for this lot I grabbed right here. Snake, this PS2 and Wii bundle that we agreed on 100 bucks total for included the PlayStation 2 games. The console itself is worth around 50 bucks. As y'all know, it comes with the controller and we got that Microcon PS2 style. Memory card locked and loaded as well as a few PlayStation 1 titles. I don't think there's anything crazy here. Frogger 2 is a sick game as well as Tetris. But this is pretty sick. I'm sure you guys can all relate to the Ratchet and Clank series. We got pretty much them all right here. Deadlocked up your arsenal and size matters, which I don't think is a problem with the Wii console right here. This one's the mini and it runs well. He threw in Pac-Man Party, Atlas 101 Party Game, and Knight's Journey of Dreams, a classic Sega title. Now I might be wrong, but 50 bucks for each one of these bundles right here, I'd say is not too bad. Now the N64 games were sick, don't get me wrong, but the GameCube games got me going. Spyro, A Hero's Tale, Star Fox Adventures, and Mario Kart Double Dash. This one made me easily pay 100 bucks for this GameCube not bundle bad. right here. Fully complete and excellent. Whoa! Bonus game right here, Lord of the Rings, but we got Mario Kart Double Dash fully complete in absolutely excellent condition. Finally, the GameCube console itself, black in excellent condition, and a Microcon controller, one of my favorites. I am truly thankful for getting this double dose of sick balls. So I want to hook one of you guys up as well, and I'm thinking something big this big time. This time. Resident Evil for the PlayStation 1, baby. What do you think? <laughs> Last time I checked, I believe this specific Resident Evil pushes 100 50 bucks. Solid Capcom game, fully complete with the manual. Y'all know the registration card comes intact. Very excited to give one of y'all a chance to win this beautiful baby right here. And to get your name into the drawing, I just want to know which one of these bad boy hauls is a better deal to you. Comment down below, Daughter DS, if you would have easily spent 40 bucks on this combo right here. Or Daddy Disco, if this lot for 300 clans has got you dancing. I'll go with Daddy Disco. Okay. Okay, sweet. Looks like we already got an entry. I mean, the, the daughter one. The hard choice. I, I, wait, wait, I changed my mind. I want the daddy -o one. Okay. Da daughter. Ne never mind. I, I definitely okay, want nope, the daddy one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Okay, anyways, this guy keeps coming in, and I'm done. Sorry, guys. This channel's pushing to the sky with subscribers. You're sick for commenting, liking, doing what you do. And I'm happy to provide you guys with a little motivation. Cheers to the hunt and to more good finds.